All right, it's Pogo news time. Something cool just got re- released. Mm, we just woke up, sorry. This morning, <laughs> just before. Um, so, what I just read, um, Hoenn region. Hoenn region, so that's Gen 3. Mm-hmm. Gen so Gen. 3. Um, they're bringing out uh, a Hoenn kind of event that's really similar to the Kanto and the Johto events that they've had before, which was sick. Um, do you remember those? Of course, yeah. Pumped up on that. Pumped up on the Johto stuff. I was so sick of it at the end, but we fun at the start. <laughs> um, so there's a couple of things that people should be focusing on. Um, one thing that I find is strange that they're targeting one Pokemon in general, Shroomish. Basically, if you evolve Shroomish in the next two weeks from tomorrow, he'll get a move called Grass Knot. Obviously, that's going to be a legacy move for him. After two weeks, it's going to be gone. I'm assuming it's going to be really good. James is saying Budju has that move. Whoa, it's OP. Grass Knot, <laughs> what a turnaround. Yeah, but it could be you get really it? Good. Because not turn it around. <laughs> turn it around. Um, field research tasks will be highlighting originally discovered Pokemon in the Hoa region. So, um, one thing I would really like to see, and I, and I know there haven't, hasn't been that much talk about it, is Clampole. Um, Clampole is one of the Gen 4 Pokemon that haven't been released yet. It's got two evolutions, but I think they're probably finding a way of how to get the two evolutions working. Um, this is the most exciting part for me. Um, the legendaries. Groudon. Groudon. Uh, we don't have a Groudon yet. We, 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 we missed it. Playing. Yeah. We missed it. We stopped playing for like a year and a half each, and basically we missed the whole period of Groudon. Um, speculation on the fact that it's going to be shiny as well. Um, well, let's hope so. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just I'm I'm stoked that it's out, but I'm a little bit upset about you know a tiny bit of just a tiny bit upset because I'm the only one in our gang with a shiny Kyogre. Mm. Yeah, and, now <laughs> and now I'll have three, and he'll have one. That's fine. <laughs> At first, first. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, Groudon's definitely definitely exciting. Um, what shiny Groudon is gold? Yeah. Bing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's exciting as hell for me. So Kyogre obviously come back shiny. Um, in, in my opinion, Groudon should come out shiny now. It'll be sick. Um, Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoa region will have an increased chance of hatching from the 7k eggs. I don't think there's many, if any, Hoenn Pokemon that hatch from the 7k eggs right now. They could minutely, just secretly, erotically release Smeagol that way, which is actually from the Johto region, so forget that. <laughs> um, two new shinies. Zigzagoon and Taylor. Zigzagoon looks sick. <laughs> Zigzagoon's like orange, Taylor's like green. Release the ultimate Pokemon. <laughs> Furret and Tails Meow. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's cool, but um, you know they're not exactly like whoa, like like. <laughs> One thing that I wanted to shut the fuck. <laughs> Is there like like release something? There's so many other cool Hoenn Pokemon they could release. They're releasing shiny Kyogre and a high and, 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 and high and, and ground them. But one thing that they're saying here. It's, is raid battles will include Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoa region, such as legendary Pokemon Kyogre and Groudon, but it doesn't necessarily say that that's it. So there was one time apparently where Rayquaza, Groudon, and Kyogre were going to come out. Um, I'd like to see Rayquaza come out. Rayquaza coming out would be sick, especially if they bring it out shiny. It's probably the coolest shiny in the whole game. Yeah, no, like it's black. I, I wouldn't know because I don't see color, but from what I've heard, it's black. So I'm keen on that. Yeah. <laughs> New avatar items, <laughs> Team Magma and Team Aqua, original villains of the Hoa region. It's pretty rad. But, I'm saying it right now, James is going to shave his head if he doesn't get a shiny Kyogre. And then I'll wear a liquid hot Team Magma <laughs> shirt. <laughs> no, if I don't get a, a, a shiny something, I'll shave my head. That's 12 years of dreadlocks. Shiny Phoebus. Shiny Phoebus is back! <laughs> um, that, that comes out for us tomorrow. We're going to upload this video so you guys can kind of see what the shinies look like, what we think is going to come out, all that kind of shit. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow for some shinies, and some Kyogre raids and Groudon raids. And I'll also, stay tuned, uh, stay, tuned. stay tuned because the Boulder Cup is going to be released. Brisbane Boulder Cup we're going to be putting out. We plan on putting that out first. 
<laughs> but we just woke up and this news came out, which is huge. Unlike the shiny Phoebus news, this was interesting. So we decided to make a video about it. So, Hoenn Pokemon, watch out because James Dub, Pig Uterus, Sophia Birdie coming in. Hold. Um, and um, I just want to put a massive shout out to Taylor Swift. Apart from that, um, hit the link, subscribe, tell your family I said hi. Shout out to Muhammad Ali. Have a great day.